Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Th Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your oracle card for the week. Message for Sagittarius please, angels, spirits, guides for the week. What is the message Sagittarius needs to hear for the week? Message for the week, please. Thank you. I've got peace and I've got friendship. Number nine, peace. Bridget, goddess, in your sacred name, a light within me, peace is flame. And then we have number 14, friendship. Bring to me friendship true, sharing laughter, understanding too. Yeah, maybe bringing peace to a situation here. Okay, let's see what else we get. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Message for Sagittarius, thank you. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Thank you, okay. We have listen to your intuition and if you believe and trust it's interesting i'm definitely seeing that trust going with if you believe do i trust them hmm and the message is listen to your intuition there okay i'm going to pull three cards sagittarius so the first card is issue or challenge second card is advice from spirit third card is the near future outcome and then we'll clarify go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always what do we have please angel spirits guides for sagittarius judgment in the challenge position Two of Wands and Two of Coins. Okay. Message for Sagittarius, please. Message for Sagittarius. Can we clarify the cards on the table, please? Angel Spirits Guides. See, I'm definitely getting the energy of somebody wanting to reconcile from the past. Someone's coming back. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands. Three of Coins. And the Moon. Then we have the Sun. Okay. I'm going to get an extra one for this two of coins. You see, again, the five of cups at the bottom of this deck, somebody regrets their actions. That could be you or the other person, Sagittarius. But it definitely feels for some of you something's happening this week. Let's clarify this two of coins. Yeah, lovers, which, I mean, it, to be honest, this can be in love, romance, relationships. It can also be to do with partnerships, you know, uh, the bond between two people. You know, sometimes you can see the lovers as business partnerships. You can see it as friendships. You can see it um, work, you know, partnerships. It can also be in terms of love, romance, relationships. There's definitely an energy here of somebody wants forgiveness. And somebody does want forgiveness from you, which is the Knight of Wands. But there's a feeling here that you don't know whether to take action towards it or not. 
you know, the judgment is generally a judgment call in the in the um in the challenge position it can be ignoring that. There may well be some decision to make here, but some of you, maybe to do with forgiveness, maybe to do with release, letting go of something. It is a card of rebirth, moving on from something, but it definitely feels in this, it feels also that somebody, wa they want to resurrect a friendship. Now, in whatever context this resonates for you, they want to resonate, they want to resurrect a friendship. That's what I'm getting. And again, you know, the Knight of Wands is you, Sagittarius. Germany is somebody who takes action, who goes, who's all fired up, who, um, you know, follows his passions, you know, that kind of energy, again, male or female. Um, in this situation, however, it just feels like... It feels like you've not made your mind up in how you want to move forward. Because it is a choice between two paths. To rebuild something or go your own way. And it feels like that's what you're going to be presented with. Remember the three of pentacles can be about you know, building something solid as a team. So that can relate to whatever this friendship card means to you. That can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. That can be in terms of friendships. But it definitely feels that you're going to be faced with a choice on how you want to move forward. Yeah. And with karma here, this is an energy of whatever decision you make, choose wisely because actions have consequences and there's also an energy of this probably won't come round again not for a significant period of time so really consider it wisely this is about trusting your intuition what your intuition is telling you will lead you in the right direction it's almost like the universe is showing you the way and again there is some decision to make and we have the two of coins. Will I, won't I, do I, don't I? Which path do I choose? It can be a choice between two areas. So it definitely feels for some of you that you're going to be faced with a choice. Somebody, it, it feels they want to rebuild a relationship. They want to resurrect a relationship. They want to resurrect some kind of friendship on whatever level this remember the cards can be on different levels so whatever level represents is relevant for you but it definitely feels in this situation you're just kind of like mm, just weighing up my options seeing how i want to move forward um i may be giving your, yourself some time if there isn't clarity in the situation this can be about trusting your intuition to make a decision but if you don't feel that you have the clarity here this is an energy of you're going to get it everything will become clear there's also an energy here of where your intuition is leading you is to healing restoration and light putting you on the right path this is a card of celebration, joy, love, happiness, uh, feeling pretty good. It's a card of success, but it's a card of success in letting go. There is a feeling of finally releasing with the sun. So it definitely feels for some of you that some level of feel good is coming your way and just finally putting something behind you, you know, um, this can be to do with emotional situations or deception. Um, you know, I mean, like I said, there's levels to this card. But it definitely feels in this situation, there's some choice to make. Because it feels that somebody wants to resurrect some kind of relationship. This could be you. This could be somebody coming to you. And there is an opportunity to rebuild that, most definitely. That is presented to you. Uh, but there's some kind of choice to make here. And the message of if you really want to do this, you can create this, you can rebuild it. 
you know, the symbol of creation is right there with them, you know, very much like Archangel Metatron's symbol of creation. Um, you can build this back up if you want to and find peace, you know? So I guess it's, if it's of value to you, how much is it of value to you? Powerful, powerful energy here. So I'm going to pull a final card, Sagittarius. Final message for Sagittarius. Final message for Sagittarius. We have elephant grounding, ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. Yeah, I mean, the kind of message is don't, don't let it be, you know, a, a decision that you make with high emotions. This is about looking at the facts of the situation and being grounded and making that judgment call. Yeah. Okay. And we have Eagle, Ancestral Healing. Your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past. Wow. <laughs> Somebody definitely wants to heal the past. You know, I mean, it's, it's pretty clear here. The cards are in sync. So um, I guess there's a, some kind of decision to make. But the message is choose wisely. Uh, because, you know, whatever decision you make, it will have uh, consequences. And there's definitely an energy of it probably won't come around again. Uh, certainly not for a significant period of time anyway. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.